was there. And welcome to the day of the LSD Dream Emulator. Wait, you didn't know it. Wait, wait. LSD the Dream Emulator. Yeah, yeah, we almost fucked it up. It's fine. Day 309. I'm tired. It's like 8 30 on a Sunday. Why did you wake up now? I don't know. It's dead. Oh, hello. Wait, I've reset this. I don't think I've seen this before. It's been a while since I've had a video dream. Oh, little Nekachan. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, he's a little sad Nekachan. Oh, and it's a Kadoko cup, too. And there's a bird. Have you seen this? I don't... It was short. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've seen that before. Oh. Interesting. Oh, anyway. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> and then... Oops, hang on. Okay. Is it okay? Should be okay. Saved. Yep. And that reminds me, I, I was supposed to talk about this on uh, day 306 and I keep forgetting. But uh, yeah, we're in the, the last 50, 50 days. We've got less than 50 days to go, man. We're in at 65, so wait. I'm an idiot. It's 365, not 356. Oh god, you're right. Oh, so not, we're not at 50 days yet. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so six days later we'll be at 50 days. <laughs> okay. Sure, we'll fight the boat. Oh, you ever took out your dream yet? I... Uh, no. Hang on. My eyes are fucking... Uh, Scratch the side of my eyes. My thoughts, I can't see shit. That's a problem because I, I need to read it right between uh, cause my notes. Oh god. Oh, fuck me. I think you need to go back to sleep. I think I know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just watch YouTube and pass out again. Yeah, that's always a good. I really like enjoy doing that. Anyway. Why? Shut up, phone. All right, let's talk about my dream. All right. So I'm going on a date. All right. And it starts off badly. As we end up going to different places to meet up. Uh, I think it was my fault. So I think I went to the wrong place. Or I told her the wrong place to meet at. So when we finally do meet, I apologize through my teeth. But she's very positive and keen and... She tells me to forget about it, and that's just to dry the rest of our day. Okay. So we're walking through a building that has, like, a supermarket in front of it. And as we pass through the entrance... Now, in Japan, this doesn't happen. I don't know about America. I doubt it. Or England. But definitely in Australia. Uh, you never have anything. Like, anything outside of the supermarket. Sometimes you do for, like, special events or whatever. What I mean is, the checkout is like the edge of the supermarket. But in Japan, they, they usually have like a whole area, uh, like out in the common ground of the supermarket, of the shopping center, where they just have like displays and, st and not store, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not an aisle. What do you call, I guess, display? Like shelves with, you know, goods. And like you could like, pick up something there, and then you have to go into the store to actually buy it. Or you just fucking walk away with it. Um, so we're passing through that sort of area, and I see, uh, out of the corner of my eye, I see my favourite iced coffee, which is my new big favourite, um, because it kind of tastes like a milkshake. Um, which is amazing, because when you order a milkshake at a Japanese restaurant, it does not taste like a milkshake. I don't, I don't even remember what it tastes like. It tastes like shit is what it tastes like. Anyway, 
So now I always try to get this, uh, this iced coffee whenever I can, because it tastes amazing. And if the old, my old favourite, which is the same company, if that's all that's left, I'm like, nah, fuck it, I'm just not going to drink. I only want that, 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 that awesome one. Uh, now, seeing this at a supermarket is quite interesting, because I've never seen it at a supermarket. It's actually really rare. I've only ever seen it at Lawson convenience stores, which is a kind of convenience store here in Japan. And even then, I've only ever seen it in my, about half of the ones that I've checked. Like, you go to a Lawson, uh, or any convenience store, right? You go to the, uh, the ice coffee section, and you can see the other one, the old one that I used to like. Uh, and then next to it, you would have this, uh, this new type. Um, but then, uh, some other Lawson's, they have the old type, and then next to it is just another completely different brand. And there's no, there isn't even a space, uh, on the shelf for that, that special one. So it's, I don't know why it's so fucking rare. I've never seen it in a supermarket. Um, yeah, whatever. So like, ooh, ooh, oh yeah. So I get all excited, right? And uh, my date knows that that I like it like a lot. She's and I, I'm like I I'm on a date, all right? I don't want to like I could I could go without it because I want to spend more time with my date. But she's like no 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 you should go get it. I'm like all right yeah spoil myself today. Uh so I think about leaving it so we don't don't, don't waste time. But you know I'm like yeah why not sure. So I grab it and I go to the checkout. When I get there, I plunk down the, the, the iced coffee and I put, whip out my, my wild, my wild, how do you say it? I thought it was supposed to be one, but it's wild, wild card. Uh, what, what a wild card is, it's a, it's a, it's a cash card that you can, um, charge with, charge it with money. You can top it up with money and then use it to pay for stuff at certain places. Not everywhere accepts it, but it is accepted at uh, Macca's and most of the conveni- most convenience stores. So it's pretty convenient for me, rather than having to worry about having cash all the time. Because um, like paying by credit card or um, like debit card or whatever is just not something that we do in Japan. It's like it's always cash, and if it's not cash, it's um. Yeah, these kind of uh, cash cards. I don't know why. It's it's very convenient though. I'll give you that. And they are accepted at uh, some supermarkets. Um, Seven Eleven doesn't accept them though. Seven Eleven has their own one called Nanako. But that's I think that's the only convenience store that I go to that that I sometimes go to that doesn't accept it. So except at Family Mart, Mini Stop, uh, Lawson. I don't know about, uh, what's it called, Yamazaki, but I've almost never been to one. So, <laughs> what other ones are there? What, convenience stores? Oh, there's tents. But, the one that you probably don't know them because they're not in your area. Anyway. So, I, I flashed my one card, I'm like, I'm going to pay my one, please. Well, and, you know, Japanese it, I think. Why not go to my house? And he's like, huh? 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 Wait. Is, don't, do you have another, do you have the, uh, the one, blah, 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 card? There's like some other card. Like, the one I've got is just the basic thing where you charge it with money and that's it. And I think you do get points, though, for, for the, but there's like another point card and I think there's like a credit card version as well. He's like, do you have that? And I'm like, no, I don't. Uh, what's the problem? So, I think this might be like a tourist spot. Because he starts, he starts talking to me in horrendously bad English. Like, really, really bad. I'm like, dude, just, I, I know I look like I'm a foreign tourist, but I've been here for like five years. You can just fucking, I could probably understand your Japanese a lot better than I can understand your shitty English. Um... So he's like, uh, I'm like, what's the deal, bro? You accept one, right? Look, look at the sign. 
They usually have like a little sign at the cashier that has a thousand and one little icons for all the things they accept. For example, you know, MasterCard and, 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 what's the other one? What's the other one? Uh, Visa, Visa. And then they have all the little cash card systems. There's fucking thousands of them. I'm like, there it is. There's the one icon. It's right there. Look, there's the one. That's one. Let's go. Come on. The date's fucking waiting. It was like, uh... <laughs> So I don't know what he's on about. I can't understand him. Um, it's either like, yeah, I need another card, like a, a credit card or something. Um, or, I, I, I don't know what his deal is. He's talking with his manager and it's like, or the other thing was, yeah, they, it seems like they wanted to charge me a fee for using the one card. And I'm like, fuck off. I know exactly how much this coffee costs. It's like 144 yen. So it's right fucking there, you mong. So it's fucking, ring, ring me up and let's fucking get this show on the road. So they're like, they're gonna go into like the back and talk to the big ass manager. And they take my, they take my card with me. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, at this point, I should have said no. I should have said, no thanks. Fuck you. Give it up on the coffee. Just take my card and go. But I'm like, uh, uh, okay, okay then. Yeah, hey, uh, okay, hey, yeah. So they fuck off. They fuck off. They bugger off in the back for like thirty goddamn minutes. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. But they had my one. Which I wouldn't care about. I'd just fucking leave. I think the one costs like... I forget how much it costs. It's like 500 yen or something to, to, to buy the initial thing. But who gives a shit about that? But the problem is I recently just topped it up with like $100 worth of yens. Yes. That's... that's you mean 10,000 yen? That's what I meant. 10,000 yen. Uh, so I'm like... Oh, fuck. So I try to get back. I try to get back in there. Some staff try to stop me. And I'm not having it. Like my fucking date's still waiting for me over there. Alright? Stop fucking around with my time. Anyway. So I get in the back there. And it looks like uh, complaints desks or something. So I'm like, I'm not waiting in line for this shit. Okay, I just want to get my card and I'm out. Well, the big boss is like way, way in the back. So I start shouting, I start demanding to say, I'm like, bring him out here, you motherfuckers. Um, well, then that's weird. <laughs> this is, is it already weird. Well, it's not that weird yet, but it's just, it's kind of red tape and bureaucracy right now. But, um, oddly enough, as I get deeper into this, this area, um, in the back area, it looks like the office is part of a barber shop or maybe the supermarket is owned by a barber shop I'm not sure I don't think there were people getting their hair cut there might have been people getting their hair cut in the back there but I just remember seeing the barber shop uh, you know the what is it blue and red the little swirly thing that they have in Japan just like god they have them in Japan but it's like they're all defunct and old and shitty and no, they don't actually spin anymore. Uh, and you might go, you might go into the the shop. You might like go, okay, well it's a barber shop. I'll just go in there and get my hair cut. You go in there, it's just someone's fucking house. And like, what are you doing? I'm like, I thought this was a barber shop. No, it's a house. Why do you have a fucking barber shop thing outside? Uh, I don't know if it's all in Japan, but Japan has a a bit a bit of an issue. With, there's like old signs for long gone businesses. And they just never take the fucking signs down. Like you see all these like old like Coca-Cola signs and shit. From probably the 80s. That have just been there for freaking ever. I remember I was going, I was trying to go bowling with friends. And we drove past and we saw this big bowling pin. And maybe a bowling ball sign. I'm like, oh cool, that's a bowling place. Alright, let's go. And we go there and it's a fucking clothing shop. Because it was a bowling store, like... It was a bowling place, like... I don't know, 10 years ago? And, like, there's been, like, two businesses since then. 
and no one's ever bothered to take down the fucking bowling pin. Ah, uh, anyway. Stupid. <laughs> so I, 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 maybe that's happened in Australia, but I don't. I've never seen it. I would imagine that people would be like quick sticks to to take that shit down. Yeah. Anyway, where was I? We were at a barber shop. Yeah. So the staff are snickering and laughing when I'm trying to barge my way in there. And that's when shit gets fucked. The whole room starts shaking like it's an earthquake. I'm like, oh, is it an earthquake? No. Turns out I'm on a plane. I don't know how I got on a plane, but this whole room is like inside a plane. And we just took off to who knows where. I don't know. So I'm screaming, I'm going nuts. I'm like, because my date's still fucking down there waiting for me. And now I'm on a goddamn plane going who knows where. My whole fucking date's going to get ruined. So I jump off the plane. So it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not explained whether or not I had a parachute or I just jumped. But I jumped into like a marshy area and I start wading my way back to civilization. The last thing I remember in the dream is um, uh, driving on the road and trying to get like trying to get through traffic, trying to get back to the the woman I was with, and I'm like, ah, oh, worst date ever. And it's all because I wanted a damn coffee. My the story is, my the story is, don't ever let assholes take your car to the back. Yeah. And learn, learn when to, wait, why is my computer not turning on? And learn when to give up. <laughs> yeah. Like, I shouldn't have even, I shouldn't have even bothered with getting, the, getting the coffee, but the moment they were like, gonna go in the back of my back, nope, no, no, give me the card, give me the card, give me the card, you take this coffee, I don't want it, I'm out of here. <sighs> Although, honestly, you know, as far as nightmares go, that's a pretty good nightmare, I suppose. At least, at least I'm not fucking, uh, what's his name? Geiger. Having goddamn, uh, fucking nightmares about the fucking alien monsters. Yeah, man. What was the guy's name? Is it H? I forgot his name. Is it e yes, no, it's H. Uh, it's irrelevant. Whatever. Um, Alright. We can back tomorrow. We'll be playing some more LSD. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.